Oh, now. <laughs> <laughs> she always trying to catch me off guard, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have my shades on. That's because the sun is bright in my eye. I'm not trying to be all famous or flashy or <laughs> But in order for me not to be scrinting and stuff, so I, I just wore these glasses. Wear her sunglasses on. Okay, so she wants to show you. How many um, weeks post are you? I am 16 days um, oh. post-op. 16 days, I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just removed the drains yesterday. Mm -hmm. So this is my first day without my drains. This is my first day taking a shower. So that felt so good, guys, just letting the water hit my body. I, I well needed. So moving on from the shower, um, what I wanted to do was um, show you all. I'm still a little slouched over, and this is what I'm. Yeah, what I can look you like. do a spin around so okay. we can see what you look like? Okay, let's see. Yeah. This is how her butt's looking so far. Yeah. And I feel like a granny, guys. <laughs> just, I'm just so, so, I feel so slow. <laughs> okay. But yeah, okay, so now um so i just got out of the shower and um i wanted to share and show um how my navel looks so i don't know d if you could kind of zoom yeah in a i can zoom closer. In. oh that's disgusting okay get back get back get back <laughs> <laughs> so i'm still cleaning it and it's still healing so um, at night, I have a regimen that I'm doing. I'm putting the cotton balls in there with some antibiotics and covering that up. I'm forming my navel. Um, and I'll pull my skirt down. I'm being very gentle with myself. Try not to show all my goods. I am outside here. But um, I'm still very swollen. Okay. Bear with me, guys. I gotta inch this down. Ooh, they don't let me show all my stuff. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> okay, so that's I guess that's good enough. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a good look. So Dr. Medina, she really cut me uh, very, very low. She did. She um, cut it really low. Yeah. And here's the side. Um, this is where. Let's put this down. I'm still, like I said, I haven't really cleaned myself yet. I'm still feeling ashy, but this is where the um, the drain um, output was, or the beginning of it. So I, um, when I took removed the drains, we just clipped the stitch here, um, hit from hip. And as you can see, the scar is it's healing the, really good. It's healing, and the incision is really flat, so I'm very mm -hmm. proud of that. I don't have dog ears. That was where the drain was. This, yeah, this is where the tube was coming out of. So I covered it up when I was taking a shower. It's still, you know, um, healing. healing. Yeah. And um, this and that's is where. The end yeah. Of the incision. Right. So, yeah, guys. So she just wanted to show you guys how she's looking post That's 16 days 16 <laughs> days post and she's walking better she's standing up straighter and she doesn't feel as tight or sore and i think it helped a lot with the massages getting those yeah, massages my, done my daughter she gives me a massage every night um during the daytime um before i go to bed she massages me and that really helped i did before um as far as bruisings i really don't have any bruising mm -mm. anymore um then after uh, probably the um the 12th day i think when i um came home my daughter showed a picture of a little bit of bruising that was on my side that's gone um i did take the arnica pills so i'm i'm hoping and a lot of pineapple and i've been drinking a lot of pineapple juice so maybe that kind of helped with the bruising um clearing that up but other than that guys, and the stitches is healed in the back because she has some stitches in her back and oh, those yeah, are all let's healed see if they still, it still kind of freaks me out a little bit and i'm like what where they yeah. yeah okay so she had a stitch right there that's pretty much gone she, you will do a little bit of pilling yeah but as you can see her back is not bad off for the light bow suction yeah and the bruises are pretty much healed there's not a lot of bruises mm -hmm. But I can't even find, let me see, I think she had, see, I'm trying to look for the lipo um, entrance. Yeah, the lipo there. entrances and the stitches. But really, this is the last one that's on her back, you guys. So, yeah, 
Yeah, they're all dissolvable. So yeah, that's, that's they dissolve. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm still all <laughs> hunched over. I can't wait till that's done. I, I guess they say maybe the third or fourth week, and if you walk and drink lots of water, I yeah. mean every day. I'm not trying to force myself because I don't want to stretch or pop the stitches or anything. So I'm just going with my body, what my body is telling me to do, and going with the flow. And what foha are you on? Did you want to talk about your foha? My foha. Um, I'm still using the one stage two garment that I got from the DR is entirely too tight it feels like I'm cutting off the circulation so I may just go online and just order another one um, I cannot get into that thing worth a damn so <laughs> it's I'm, so tight it's, it's so tight so I'm still using what um, my first full haul that I received from the DR that my doctor gave to me and um, I'm on the third notch and that's been great for me um, sleeping wise I'm still sitting up um, I am able to sit in my bed uh, or lay in the bed not fully lying down but I do have pillows to um, keep me upright um, I did want to talk about the airport ride um, coming back from the DR I did have the drains in and I did wanted to go over the pros of that um, the pros of having the drain for me was once I, I was just so gassy guys I mean just I was just really gassy I was pouring up a storm on that place <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't like stinky or anything because I was having a good old time <laughs> but um, yeah so you do get really gassy and then I think from the drains whenever I would swell from the altitude and things like that um, it would swell into the drain so I wouldn't be swollen in my body in my body um, it was it was giving the fluid a way to exit out of my body and um, it took me 24 hours to get back home and it was like 200 cc's yeah, it, it went up. Well, the drain, it holds up to 400 cc's. By the time I came off the plane, when I left the DR, I was probably at 100 cc's. Once I got to traveling um, up and down on the flights and different things, it went up to at least 300 cc's. So th I, I, that's why I said that was the benefit of the drains, to give it somewhere for the fluid fluid to go into. Especially when you're up and getting all that pressure yeah, too. And you want that to come out. Yeah. So I mean and it, it helped. It was so much it was just a relief having that drain in for me. Mm -hmm. Um as were you on did you have a lot of pain? I when did have off? some pain when I was um flying so I, I did take my medication with me, my pain pills. Um, things of that nature. Um, as far as customs, I had to go through customs twice. So leaving the DR and then my flight um, went into the JFK airport. So I went through customs in there. Remember guys to get the wheelchair assistance. That's a big help for you all. It will save you time. Remember to tip those people too because they do a lot for you. Um, you really will really appreciate them. Um, let's see what else. What else did I want to talk about? Those are, I think that was all. You wanted to talk, you wanted to show what you were looking at, pose. Yeah. Or looking like, pose. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. And we talked about, about the faux ha. Right, I talked about the faux ha. Um, I'll let you um, guys know where I ended Airplane. up getting the second faux ha from, on the what website I went to. And did you want to, like, um, you were talking about that you wanted to drain... Because we got a lot of the fluid from her back by doing the massages. But she feels like it's still tight or swollen at the bottom of her stomach right here. And that's supposed to still be, that's going to get flat. So did you want to talk about syringes or like draining that? Um, not quite white but um from, be from my understanding not in this one but from my understanding as long as i it's not that fluid so I, it's still a little hard so i'm mm -hmm. still giving myself massages and they said as long as you use your compressing garment mm -hmm. um along with the like, outboard or something to flatten that down it should flatten out for you oh, okay so i'm gonna give it maybe another week or so mm -hmm. um here i do I was feeling like that waterbed effect, like that um, fluid build up. Yeah, when here. you feel the fluid, it really feels like just fluid under the skin. Yeah. So, and then I mean, after that, then it would start to get lumpy, and that's when you know you have to work it with your the way down towards the drain. Right. And so now that I don't have the drain, hopefully, um, sometimes they say when you do the massages, that it the liquid was still the fluid will still flow out of the drainage hole that's if it hasn't closed so I haven't gotten to that point yet so I don't know I haven't got my massage but you haven't been yet. leaking so far but I all. haven't been leaking no I no. thought it was something crawling on my foot <laughs> so I haven't been leaking so far um, but right here I may need to um, get that um, 
taken out um, with the syringe. So I'll go to my doctor and see if um, he, they're going to have to drain me with the syringe or not. Um, other than that, the stitches are dissolving and um, I feel good guys. I you feel, look good. Thank you. You look really good. Um, do you want to do one more spin around? <laughs> I, you know, I can't move. I'm trying to be cute y'all. So <laughs> let me stop before I hurt a stitch or something. <laughs> yeah. Alright you guys, let us know if you have any other questions or any um, any anything else that you would like to know about regarding this process. We'll be posting more videos. Stay tuned. Love y'all. Stay Bye. safe. Bye dog. Bye.